Let's keep practice Boolean algebra. We have to simplify the following expression. Remember, anytime we are going to approach a problem like this, you have to first try to factorize always two variables, if this is possible, at one time. Let's take a look what we can factorize from these two terms. We have B naught, C naught, and B naught and C naught means we can factorize from these two terms B naught, C naught. Let's take a look. This term and the very last one. We have AB and we have AB. C's are different. So this is the best option because we can factorize from these two terms two variables which are A and B. A and B. They are identical. Let's take a look over here. We have B naught and we have C. We have B naught and C. So we can factorize from these two terms. B naught and C. So, let's pull out on the front of the parentheses B naught, C naught. Inside of the parentheses I'm going to have A naught plus a. In other words, A naught or A. Plus, we said we are going to factorize AB from here and AB from here. So I'm going to have A, B on the front of the parentheses, and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have C naught plus C. Plus, I'm going to have B naught. C, B naught C. I'm going to factorize B naught C from these two terms. And inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have A naught plus or A. Now, remember that any time we have complements all together, this is going to give me always one. So I'm going to have B naught, C naught times 1. Remember, A naught or A will give me always 1. Plus A, B. The same story. C naught or C will always equal 1. Plus B naught, C. And I have A naught or A gives me always 1. And 1 times B naught C naught will give me B naught C naught plus the same story happens over here A B plus B naught C. Now Let's take a look what we can factorize from these terms. We have B naught and B naught. I'm going to factorize B naught from these two terms. And I'm going to end up with B naught, C naught, or C plus AB. I'm supposed to say or AB. C naught or C will always give me 1. I'm going to have B naught times 1 or A B. B naught times 1 will give me always B naught plus A B or B naught or A B is equal. Remember we have to use complement absorption theorem so anytime we have complements and one of them is ended with something else, so the one which is ended with something else has to be cancelled out. So my answer is B naught or A.